One thing's for sure, it will feel hot, dangerously so, for the foreseeable future. What's not certain is whether we get any more of these sneaky storms that have affected Mason County two nights in a row. Right now it's 87 in Austin, heat index of 96. We lucked out, our high only 94. Why? You may have noticed how hazy it was. The clouds and the smoky haze were courtesy of smoke from fires burning in Mexico moving in on southerly winds. Currently, 96 is the heat index in Austin. Feels like 88 in Giddings. Feels like 92 in San Marcos. I mean, here we are at 10 o'clock at night, and these temperatures are pretty uncomfortable as we stand. As we look ahead to tomorrow from 1 p.m. to 8 p.m., I-35 points east, we go into a full-fledged heat advisory yet again. We're talking temps near 100 heat index values up to 112. Take this seriously. I know we get heat every year, but for many areas, this is kind of the first go around of the really intense heat. As we track basically a big high pressure dome that is going to strengthen over our area, I think on Friday, that's when we could see the hottest temperature up to 107, but then we could get there again, Father's Day and on toward Monday as well as this ridge just sets up shop just along South Texas and into Mexico and goes nowhere. Now, occasionally with a setup where you do have a big upper level ridge of high pressure, you can have a few storms that try to sneak in around the upper periphery. Right now we've got a cold front that's off to our north. It's not heading in here. We're not going to see any shift in our winds or humidity, but it might be enough to maybe spark a late storm. All right, so tomorrow high temperature 100 degrees. We'll continue seeing temperatures build. We could see heat index values between 110 and maybe as high as 114 in the days to come, but will we see rain? Two computer models not really showing much. However, I want to show you this one. Tomorrow morning, patchy clouds giving way to sunshine late afternoon up to 100 and then maybe some sneaky storms pulling in. So day in and day out, at least for Wednesday and Thursday, we may still have these small sneaky storm chances to contend with, primarily for our northernmost areas. And then as we head toward Friday and beyond through the Father's Day holiday weekend, we're talking record heat potential. We'll be right back.